Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Welcome to On Cinema with your host, Tim Heidecker. That's right, folks. You're listening to uh, our latest episode with my guest, Greg Turkington. And if, and if you notice something a little different, we uh, I have invested in a couple of microphones. Nice, oh, sorry, Greg. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you think? I got some new microphones. And these I've are got nice. This, yes. they, they smell new. That's right. Well, I just got them. Uh, I put um, the, the first couple episodes, I have to apologize now, didn't sound so great. Uh, I recorded them. I, I liked them. Well, the, I mean, they're, they, the, qual- the, sound, the fidelity of the sound wasn't as good as it, as it, as it could have been, and I apologize for that. Um, no need to apologize. I think... I well, think. I'm talking to the audience. I'm not talking to you. Um, I... Thank you guys for putting putting up with it. Um, but we are. This is you know we're taking it seriously now. So um, I was always taking it seriously. Well, I was too. Anyways, our movie today is Gone with the Wind, the big one, 60th anniversary of the release of Gone with the Wind. Mm-hmm. And uh, wow, what can you say? I mean, how, it's cool that we picked a great episode to start with. Bec- uh, start our new sound, the new sound of the podcast with a movie that really is one of the first color movies. It's one of the first movies that is a spectacular blockbuster, and exciting... innovative uh, sound, which is interesting, because now it's innovative sound on this podcast. Uh-huh. Because they were using state-of-the-art equipment, and now we are. Yeah. Um, so thanks for bearing with us, um, and uh, I've been Clark- playing... Clark, Clark Gable. I'm sorry, yeah, back to Calm of the Wind. Clark Gable. Clark Gable. Vivian uh, Lee. I pronounce Lay. G- directed Lee. by. Lay, Vivian Lay. Uh, directed by. David O. Selznick. Uh, yeah. No, Victor Fleming directed it, and then David O. Selznick wrote it and produced it for, for MGM. GM. Anyhow, a uh, great movie mm-hmm. about Civil War, about this uh, slavery issue, and also about uh, the South. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's an all-time classic. It's, it's great. It's surprisingly good, and or I should say it's it holds up really nicely. It's um, I mean they could it's a rough around the edges because it's old, but it's uh, you know it's you know good. What? It's I good. wanted to make I, it's, it's real good. Definitely, I wanted to add one thing though is um, a two things. A make sure you've got um, the remastered, re-released edition where they've got the new uh, off of the new print. Yeah, I, I got a library copy years ago, and it was crap. It was a bad copy, and it was look yeah. it looked bad. Well, uh, if you get the I new remastered, ver- excuse me, if you get the new mastered remastered version, it looks fantastic. It almost looks like a new movie. Well, I had a copy that uh, that uh, uh, my brother had taped off television years ago with still the commercials on it, and mm-hmm. uh, you know we watched that, and you're fast forwarding through the commercials. Yep. It's not the way and that not the way that the filmmaker intended. No, not at all. But the other thing I wanted to mention was make sure you give yourself enough time to watch it because yeah. it is a long movie. Even with with the commercials, it's five hours. Yeah, well, no one's going to watch it with the commercials, I don't think. So, all right, thank you very much, everybody. And uh, Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind, as we are... we are go- uh, All-time greatest movie. What I, well, definitely on the top five. All right, thanks for listening, everybody, and we'll be back next week. Next week.